Hey everyone, Infosec Pat here with another video. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about my first Black Hat experience and my third DEF CON experience. So I'll do a little recap and all that good stuff. So stay till the end and remember to like, subscribe and share and let's get into it. So let's start out with Black Hat. I've been wanting to go to Black Hat for years. But this year, I finally said, you know what? It's time to do it. 2025, let me jump on the bandwagon and get to Black Hat. What was the big reason why I wanted to go this year? The number one reason, as I'm growing in my career, as I'm growing in my content, I wanted to network. So I wanted to connect with industry leaders, see different vendors, vendors that I work with on a daily basis, and maybe find some cool new tools that I haven't seen or I haven't heard before so I wanted to bring it to my job. I will not disclose what I do and where I work, but to my job, I work in the cybersecurity industry for those folks that wanna know. It's, it was really funny because many, many folks were trying to find out where I work, but I will not disclose that. And of course, the main, main thing, and the coolest thing, and I don't have any with me because I put it all away, is grab some swag, right? Any conference, all the hackers, all the cybersecurity folks, all the nerds, love their swag stickers shirts i love shirts and socks those are my thing right so i want to talk a little bit about the vibe right the vibe from black hat and defcon and b-sides and maybe rsa i haven't been there but next year i will be going there is totally different right so the vibe of at black hat is totally different for an example than defcon right it's more professional it's business oriented right so Lots of suits and polos. Obviously, everyone knows me. I was not wearing a suit. I never wore a suit in my life. And I didn't wear a polo. I just wore my sweatpants and my t-shirts. But you can feel right at home with whatever, whatever you wear. So you can really feel, you know, where the companies are. You know, make big deals or make little deals, whatever you want to do. Launch new products. This is what it's all about, right? Networking getting your company out there, getting your product out there, and then just walking into, they call it the expo hall. And it honestly felt like a, like a trade show, in my opinion. I was like, it was a little overwhelming. It hasn't, I haven't felt any, any feeling like that before in any other conference. And uh, it's like a trade show on steroids, pretty much, right? There's massive booths. There's the booths are massive. Like CrowdStrike was cool. I, I got some cool little, I don't know if you can see them. You can't see them, but like some toys and some action figures. And I got a whole bunch of cool stuff. Like I said, swag was really, really cool at Black Hat. And, you know, they have giveaways, you know, demos for different products. If they're trying to do a new launch, they demo it. Um, I saw everything from next-gen firewalls, AI stuff, AI is the massive thing, and threat detection tools, new pen testing tools, new, a whole bunch of new things. So one highlight that I really enjoyed seeing was CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike has some cool new things coming up. And then, you know, getting into some of the other tools. I don't want to re really reveal the tools that I saw or that I use on a daily basis, but I've seen some other companies there that I really, really enjoyed and seeing what they have up and coming in the next quarter or so, right? So given, getting those live demos was definitely, definitely cool. It gives you that idea to what to look out for, right? What can be down in the pipeline? What can fit your organization, you know? And yeah, that's pretty much it. So getting into the networking, right? I think this is really, really the best part. Of course, from my job, I was networking, trying to get business into the organization and all that stuff. So the conversations, right? The conversations, I met other hackers, pen testers, SOC analysts, leaders, CEOs, CTOs, directors, uh, tool creators, so many, so many cool people. And I would have never met them if I didn't go to Black Hat. They didn't go to DEF CON, right? So if I didn't go to Black Hat, I would have never seen them or met them. And even folks following me online for years. That was really, really cool too. You know, like, hey, Pat, I've seen your content. You're doing awesome. That really fulfills. Like, I'm doing this for you guys. I'm not really doing this for me. 
So, you know, if any of you folks are watching this, thank you so much for the love and support. It really, really means a lot. So, and some of those folks even like easily turned into future collaborations or, you know, I went to invites of events while I was there. And yeah, that was really cool. I'm just, you know, like I said, I jotted some notes and I did recognize, you know, obviously a few times people who watch my content, like I said, which was really, really cool. And yeah, hopefully uh, we'll see you guys next year again. And that's all good. So I did do the briefing. I got the ticket for the briefing as well. So I saw a few Black Hat talks. I didn't do the trainings. You know, there's so many other companies that do in training, but as for the talks, Black Hat is very, very polished, right? So from the keynote to all that stuff, it was really, really cool. It was really sharp. Um, the decks were awesome, beautiful. I have to say it's really, really cool stuff. The content was aimed for obviously decision makers, like I said, CEOs, CTOs, CISOs, directors, founders, etc. And, you know, if you're a technical, obviously, you know, technical folks will benefit from it, but I sat in a few and really walked away with some key key information, key takeaways. And it's definitely different from DEF CON, <laughs> where people at DEF CON are more raw, I would say, more hackerish, more hacker style, and you get a lot more proof of concept uh, at DEF CON versus Black Hat, right? So I wanna go ahead and transfer to the con uh, conference at DEF CON, right? And then came DEF CON, so DEF CON was Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, more like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but Thursday you get your badge, you walk in this crazy line, you wait for an hour or so, but I think it went pretty quick. I think it was like 45 minutes. And then you go around to the merch line. I wanted to get some merch this year. And, you know, obviously at DEF CON, I met with some awesome folks. One friend that I knew for several months, now I can call him a really, really good friend if you're watching this. I'll still keep you, even though we're out there, we're, we're whatever. Um, I can say, like, I'm super blessed to have you in my life. Paul, Kenny, you know, James, you know, I met folks like Network Chuck, you know, the normal John Hammond, uh, Jason Havocs, all the, you know, cool kids on the block. And it was really cool to meet some new folks, like I said, like Chuck and, and some other folks that I met this year that I've watched their videos in the past. And it's like, awesome. And Tyler Ramsey, Kudos, I wanna say congratulations again on getting the Red Team Village um, panel. Hopefully I'm on there one day, talk about some fun stuff that, uh, that I do that I don't disclose. But um, so yeah, so oh, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Yeah, so obviously DEF CON 33, and man, going to Black Hat to DEF CON is like, a, like flipping a switch, right? You know, if you're on at Black Hat, you're already suited up and you go to DEF CON, it's like, nerded out right you could go from you can go to a corporate conference to a room of hackers it's it's pretty crazy or from i guess you say from suits to hoodies right but yeah i really 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 enjoyed it you know ctfs ctfs uh badge hacking tables i got some cool badges this year the the defcon badge wasn't that cool it was falling apart for a lot of people thank god it didn't fall apart on me <laughs> i guess i tightened my screw pretty tight and uh you know this was my third year in a row at defcon and every time it feels like coming home you know hanging out with the homies seeing new folks like i said but like i said this year uh i really really enjoyed it because i saw some new villages noob village which awesome stuff by jo uh, josh mason i got to hang out over there for a bit and say hello to a few folks, Blue Team Village, Red Team Village. You know, the my favorite always is the uh, Social Engineering Village. They make calls and all that stuff. So yeah, that was really cool. And obviously you cannot take videos of theirs. I don't, I don't think I took any pictures, but it was, it was really fun. It was really cool. So yeah, so, you know, if you guys see me, thank you so much for saying hello, taking a picture, shooting a shit. You know, I really, I really appreciate it. So where I, my favorite village, I put this as a highlight, right? I spent some time in a social engineering village. This is always my favorite. It's really, really cool. And they did a good job this year with the design and all that good stuff. I hit up some other villages, checked out um, the lock picking village. I really like lock picking, um, you know, embraces myself for a, you know, to try to do a stubborn lock. And I'm, I'm really good at it. You know, I'm from New York. 
uh, you know, won't say, won't say anymore, but you know what I mean, if you know what I mean. But um, I also checked out, you know, other villages. I volunteered at the Red Team Village, which I'm super grateful for, for the second year in a row. Awesome crew over there. I thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm super grateful. And hopefully a third year next year and on and on and on. If there's anything else I can do for the Red Team Village, let me know, reach out to me, and I'm more than happy to participate in any way I can. And um, so, yeah, that's, you know, obviously the DEF CON is super, super creative, always has some fun new stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. And one of my favorite moments was, or well, I guess not one of my favorite, I should have said my favorite moment is just hanging out with my friends, hanging out with people, meeting new folks. That's always the main thing for me and running into a friend, running into someone that maybe I wasn't involved with or in touch with the whole year. And it's like I ran into you and we shoot the stuff like we saw each other yesterday. That's super, super awesome. And, you know, doing a challenge I did on Hack the Box. So we did a Hack the Box challenge with a few content creators. Uh, Beated IT Jag, uh, Beated IT Dad, um, Tiberius, myself, Tyler Ramsey, and Maddie, uh, Cyber Maddie. So it was really, really cool. Kudos to uh, Beated IT Jag, <laughs> Beated IT Dad. You won it, love it, keep going, dude. But uh, let's see what other things I can share. Um, some fun stuff and about the culture that's there. You know, there is a culture at DEF CON. Sometimes I'm going to be honest, I feel like I don't fit that culture, but uh, it's definitely awesome to be around some incredible folks. It's a mixture of serious folks, fun folks, I would say some strange folks, some weird ones, but whatever floats your boat, right? And uh, the badges, like I said, you know, some badges were really, really cool. And uh, Let's see, let's just say, you know, you hear the best security jokes, you have some cool stickers and uh, life is just good. When I get home, I just love to share all this stuff. And like, obviously with the swag game as well, you get to go to a few booths. I didn't really get too much swag this year uh, compared to the last two years. I, I didn't bring a big bag on purpose, so I tried to limit everything and I ended up getting more than I wanted. But, you know, pins, stickers, shirts, I love socks, like I said. Uh, I definitely came home with a heavier suitcase than I came with. And uh, <clears throat> what are some other things that, you know, some lessons that I've wanted to bring up to everyone in the video. If, it's, if you haven't been to DEF CON or Black Hat, if you want to go, here's what I'll say is a takeaway. Obviously, Black Hat gives you a high-level industry connection, right? That's pretty much what that does for you the networking, the business ideas, the business insights, the cutting edge demos, whereas DEF CON gives you the hands-on, the hacking or the hacker creativity that inspires you to go home and say, yo, let's start building something new. Let's start breaking something new. Let's start doing something fantastic and share it with the community if you want, or you just keep it to yourself and just the most important thing is learning something new, right? And I wanna share, if you're going for the first time, my tip is pace yourself. And when I say that is like, this event is massive. I probably seen again, maybe 50% this year. I stayed on the first level for like a day and a half because there's so much to see, but then there's like level two and level three at the convention center. So pace yourself is super, super critical. Sometimes these events can be overwhelming. Black Hat obviously was overwhelming for me. DEF CON was cool because like I said, I saw a lot of my homies. And the thing I would say is pick your top most interested talk or village and go there and spend some time, learn, talk to people, communicate. And obviously it is in Vegas. So make sure you have a water bottle. I would say some uh, hydration, some liquid IV or whatever. I think, think that's a... Uh, I drink a lot of green tea, but the last week I've been drinking more water because I felt really, really dehydrated and I had a lot of headaches, but I'm alive, right? Here we are. So make time to actually talk to people, meet people. There is going to be some people that are assholes. That's a given. I try to talk to a few folks just because I enjoyed what they said and they pretty much said fuck off. And I told them to go fuck themselves too, but that's, that's me, right? Like I try to talk to someone 
they were like dismissive. And I told them, go fuck yourself, you know, because why be a dick? You know, it's just be nice to people. Um, yeah, those hallway conversations can be worth like super, super, uh, like a million bucks, right? You can have one conversation. Maybe you can get, find your next opportunity. Maybe on, on the airplane, you find someone that you can meet and then exchange information and God only knows sky's the limit, right? So that's pretty much all I had for today. So this was my first Black Hat, my third DEF CON. Both were super amazing. Both gave me totally, totally different values, right? But I loved it either way. And I think next year, yeah, I'll be going to both again. Um, I'm making that decision now. At first, I was like, oh, Black Hat might be a maybe, but more I think about it, more I talk to people, more I'm trying to expand on business. I think it would be awesome for me to do that again. And if you went this year, you know, drop your favorite moment in the comments, right? Like for DEF CON or Black Hat. And if you if you've never been, let me know. Maybe uh, I'll do a video on how to prepare your first time at hacking conference or DEF CON or Black Hat or whatever like that. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to everyone who came up and said hi. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. And uh, peace out.